Fireworks in the small community of Alpaw tonight as residents sound off about a proposed water rate increase. Ashley Ritchie George is now with more on a heated public meeting and how city officials are responding. Ashley? Well, Maji and Ariana, right now people in Alpaw pay, pay a flat rate of $55 a month for water, but that could soon change to $75 if a proposed water rate increase is passed. City officials call it a necessary evil, but residents say it's injustice. Dozens of protesters chant outside the Veterans Memorial Building in Alpaw Wednesday, voicing their concerns over water rates. Inside, more than 100 gathered, taking those concerns to the board. If this water increase goes through, I'll be paying as much for water as I'm paying for electricity to... to from my house. You know, it's not fair that we have to do that. And it's $75? I don't think so. We can't afford that rate increase with that amount. One by one, residents approach the board fighting what could become one of the highest water rates in the state. They say not only were they not properly notified of the proposal, but they don't want to pay more for water that's already contaminated. I won't drink the water. It's, it's not, it doesn't taste good. Um, my grandson gets a rash when you know sometimes when he's in the bathtub. Uh, my daughter the same way they get a rash, their eyes burn. This is not good. My kids they, when they take a shower, um, they get allergies all the time. They have to take a five minute shower because it's you know it harms you. Fireworks explode as passionate residents plead their case, but city officials say this is something that has to happen. Let me, let me tell you why we're trying to get this passed right now. I just received a letter of commitment from the State Department of Health releasing Prop 84 money to us in the amount of $1,880,000 to put arsenic removal treatment plant here in Alpa. We have to show them that we're able to pay our bills and that we're a viable source. Board Chairman Carla Field says all residents see is more money. What they don't see is what can happen without it. If it doesn't pass, we just have to do it again. That's, we have to keep going. We have to have water here. The question looming now whether or not the board will get the 50% plus one vote it needs to pass the proposal. If it does, some here might take a second look at their zip code. I'll think about moving, to be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I, I don't know if I would move, but I wouldn't have water. An unclear future with an even murkier present. And the board is set to meet again August 12th. It's then they'll announce whether or not the proposal passed. But city officials say if it doesn't, they'll have to do it all over again. Monty Nariana. Thank you, Ashley. Every household in Alpaw is entitled to one vote. All those votes must have been turned in by tonight's meeting.